Welcome to the Bibliography of British and Irish History. This video is going to tell you how the BBIH can help you when it comes to writing your dissertation and we'll be looking closely at the subject index. Don't worry if you don't know what your dissertation is going to focus on yet. The BBIH is here to guide you. The subject index, with its linked hierarchy of 8,000 terms, means you can explore subjects vertically and horizontally, narrowing down or going laterally, to see the range of topics that the BBIH covers. Here are a few examples of how to explore the subject tree. You can drill down into social history to arrive at divorce law, search through media and communications to delve into printing history, or go to other major themes to find resources on the history of emotions. But perhaps you are interested in resistance to colonialism and would like to do something around that subject. So, go into the subject tree. Here you have the main subject headings on the left. Click on Imperial and Commonwealth. Already in the second column that opens up, you have three different avenues to pursue. You could select Anti-Imperialism, Colonial and Commonwealth Resistance, or you can click on Imperial and Colonial Policy to open up a new column which includes decolonisation and independence, where you can drill down further into this subject. Perhaps for now though, you don't want to be too specific, you just want to get an overall idea of decolonisation and independence. Select the subject term and click on search. To get an idea of what interests you, scroll down through the titles and see if anything stands out. Perhaps this one catches your eye. Change and continuity in Ghana's intellectual history. Click on the title to open the record. Here you can see that this is an article in the journal African Studies. When you are starting your preliminary research, journal articles or book chapters are much less intimidating than monographs as they are much shorter in length. But be aware they can be on very specific areas rather than a general overview. It's a good idea to look at the abstract first to see whether it will be a useful resource. If you go down to the bottom of the record, you can see the external links. The link tells us that we have full access from our institutional library, so we can click straight through to the whole text. After reading the abstract and deciding the article is worth your interest, it's a good idea to go back to the record to see what else you can discover. You might want to explore the other subject terms here, such as intellectual life, to see what other areas this branch is into. Or you can go further up the subject tree to widen the search. You might want to look at more resources on the place itself, so click on Ghana. Another way of exploring places is to go into the place index. Perhaps you are interested in decolonisation in Ghana and its surrounding neighbours and want a list of resources that cover these areas. Click on the place name tree and go to other countries. Select Africa and then West Africa. Then select all the countries you think might be relevant. This then gives you a list of results that has broadened your search. Going back to the main record again, it also lists three people in the person as subject field. You might be aware of the first Ghanaian president, Kwame Nkrumah, and want to know more about him. Click on his name to link to all of the resources in the BBIH about him. In this case, a biography would probably be a better choice than an article. If you go to Refine Search, you can filter down the results into monographs only. BBIH records also have links to reviews, so reading the review can give you a better idea on whether it is worth investing your time in the monograph. The BBIH Person Index also links to the Oxford Dictionary of National Biography, which gives an easy to digest summary of the person in question. The vast choices within the subject indexing can sometimes get confusing, 
So if you know exactly which terms you want to search, you can type the subject directly into the All Index Terms field. The Autocomplete function will give you a list of matches as you type. Or you can type the index term or place name into the subject box without having to go through the subject tree. It's up to you how you search. The BBIH is designed to enable you to explore a broad range of subjects or to filter down to very specific terms such as author, subject, place, person or date range. By now you might have seen several resources that you definitely want to pursue. The BBIH has an export feature allowing you to collate your choices in one place. Simply tick the resources you want and go to export. You then have the option to email or download the resources and to choose which format you want, including the reference managing tools, RefWorks and EndNote. Or for an even easier option, we recommend using Satiro. Provided you have the plugin installed on your browser, you can download the resource straight into your bibliography folder. This will save you an immense amount of time when it comes to compiling your bibliography at the end of your dissertation. So, to sum up, this guide on how to use the BBIH for your thesis will help you gather resources for your preliminary research and literature review. You can make your searches as broad or as narrow as you want, and the wide range of linked subject index terms means you can go up, down or sideways to explore all related content. Signing up for e-alerts will also ensure you know about the latest research published in your field. You can also use the BBIH to compile your bibliography, saving you lots of time. So from all of us at the BBIH, good luck with your dissertation.